how I feel and what I do is two different things. <laughs> Shit, I feel like smacking a, a nigga every fucking minute of the hour. Niggas crazy. Niggas crazy. Keep on dreaming. Think they gonna catch me slipping. I'm on point, nigga. 24-7, you heard? Uh, for starters, uh, can you tell us about um, uh, More Than DJ? Why, why'd you uh, decide to call it that? All right, the album was titled More Than Just a DJ. And um, I decided to title that because I do more than just that. You know what I'm saying? DJing was something I did back in the late 70s. You know what I'm saying? And I evolved into, you know, being a, a, a mixtape kind of store. You understand? To put together compilation albums, to having my record company, having Papoose as an artist. To uh, A&R for Ray J's last album, mm. you know what I'm saying? Over three million iTunes sold. Uh, being a publisher of my own magazine, Straight Stunt Magazine, um, having two radio shows: Hot 97, New York City, uh, Shade 45, XM 66 on Sirius. Um, to run the basketball tournaments and community uh, situations, you know, for the kids in my neighborhood, you know, doing positive things. So I, I do a whole lot more than just spend records. So right. and the world needs to recognize that and understand that. So I decided to call my album more than just a DJ. What kind of feel you going for? Universal feel just no weirdo shit. You understand what I'm saying? No like everything is straight hip hop. You understand? Like, you know, like I'm a strong believer in true lyricism. That's the era of the culture I come from. So, right. you know, I, I ain't knocking nobody hustle, but I'm really into lyrics and about saying something. And right. I just wanted to have an album where a lot of that was going on. And, uh, you know, a lot of artists on there came out and gave me some of their best verses and some of their best songs and so on and so forth. And keeping the real grimy beats. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. that that's my direction right there. Uh, what, what, are, what are some songs that we probably like? We're gonna like lose our minds over, you know what I'm saying? I think you're gonna lose your mind over every record on the album. Mm -hmm. Some joints that's real, you know, street with it. You know, everybody likes the Block Star joint. Everybody likes uh, the You Heard of Us record with D Block and Ray J. Mm -hmm. um, I got a joint called Men of Respect. I got Tony Yeo on it, featuring uh, Tony Yeo, Papoos, Roy Banks, and Jim Jones. Got Bell that used to be with Rockefeller on the hook. It's called Man of Respect. Mm. It's a hard street joint. Did you, what what you do when you uh, told them about the songs? Like, did you you just like like what you tell them you want from them? I get them the beat and I tell them go hard. Right, right. That's about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no rocket science for me. And they know who you are, so yeah. they know what to give you. Yeah. Right, right. You know, I got another record called Laid the Fuck Out. <laughs> like the sound of that. It's real hard. You know, that got a Bun B on it, Twister. Right. Pat Pools, Young Chris from Young Guns, um, The Row is on there, and J Rock. Um, like I talked to uh, DJ JS1, and he was saying how, like he, he don't like all the trendy iPod DJs, and like a lot of the dudes are losing jobs over like the girl who just wants to DJ in a bikini, and like what do you think about that? Like, I mean, I think it's a shame for people that put in a lot of hard work to earn their stripes for, right. you know. <laughs> Modern technology is coming out with gimmicks and gadgets that's replacing them. You understand? I just don't think it's, it's I don't think it's fair, but at the end of the day, you gotta adjust to the sign of the time. So the iPod DJs is in, motherfucker. You better get you some iPods and get to doing what they're doing. And, and, and backing them fake DJs down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it's all about. I mean, your uh, AKA is Slap Your Favorite DJ. When's the last time you felt like slapping a DJ? I feel like slapping somebody every day, man. <laughs> unfortunately, I know those are things that I can't do. Yeah. You know, it's it is time man. and age. I'm a businessman, I'm getting older. And, you know, that was a lot of the ignorance that, you know, was in me at that time, too, because, you know, it ain't cool to run around putting your hands on people, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's other ways of working situations out. But as you get older, you know, you start to look back and realize your mistakes and, you know, some of the worst mistakes are the ones you don't learn from. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I learned from a lot of my mistakes and I'm moving in another direction with that. Sure. But how I feel and what I do is two different things. <laughs> Shit, I feel like smacking a, a nigga every fucking minute of the hour. Mm -hmm. But I know I can't do that. Yeah.
How do you think the quality of the mixtapes have gotten from since back in the day to now? Like, I mean, I think it's disgusting it's, now uh, because, yeah. like, if you don't have a relationship with the artist, yeah. you shouldn't be a mixtape DJ mm-hmm. because you're really considered an internet DJ. The only thing you're doing is racing to get whatever records you can get first off the internet. Right. So that's something anybody can do. A ten year old kid can do that. You can be on the internet all day and get every new record that goes out on the email blast and make a, make a cover, talk some shit, and put a tape out. Right. But if you have a relationship with an artist, like I make calls, like, look, I need this. Look, I need, here's a beat, freestyle over that. Yo, when you get ready to drop what? Well, look, I need to get a hold of that. And I push the line. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I'm going to do a mixtape. So it might be a couple of records everybody like I throw on there, but if it's 20 tracks, you ain't heard 13 of them before, ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the way an exclusive tape should be made. Not every track that you got on the tape, they can go straight on the internet and get. So the internet makes sense. Right, right. Also, like, um, I know, like, DJs make a lot of money off those mixtapes. How much, like, would, like, uh, like a really successful mixtape make back in the day like, compared to now? Because now it's all free. They, like that, people just down with them joints, but um, back in the day, like how much people make? Wow. I mean, allegedly, you understand, cats can make house money. Wow. Allegedly, yeah. not me, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cats, you know, that was out there doing what they were doing, they was getting it because, you know, they was dealing with you directly and, you know, you was doing your thing. People was coming to see you and get your product, but now it's like, Anybody selling mixtapes is an idiot. 